Oh, it's not for the math. Easy solution. We're going to discuss rationalizing the, no the denominator. Basically, show you how to simplify functions by making the irrational denominator to a rational one here. So what I mean by this is if you have a number, let's say 1 divided by square root 2 right here. So now the problem with this was not really a problem. It just it's, You could simplify this further because let's say you want to just guess what this value is. If we know that square root 2, it's, uh, it's, it's actually equal to 1.414, etc. So if you were just to guess what 1 divided by square root 2 is, well, uh, it's just a bit hard to get it around your head. And also, uh, so that's the, the reason for that is because this square root 2 is an irrational number. Yeah, and uh, basically what I mean by irrational number is just that it's just not rational, such as simple numbers like 3, 3 divided by 2, 2.5, etc. You can see video link below on more uh, in more in-depth detail on irrational and rational numbers. Basically, that's the idea, is just that it's a complex number, like the 1.14 keeps going on, doesn't repeat, or etc. So dividing by it is just hard to think about. So the idea is to get rid of this uh, square root 2 from the bottom and basically uh, make the bottom into rational uh, number here. And there's a couple methods to do that. Uh, number one, yeah, number one is basically uh, multiply the top and bottom by a root here. So what I mean by this, for this case here, this 1 over square root 2, if you just multiply both top and bottom by square root of 2 right here, so now, because uh, we know that square root 2 divided by square root 2 is just going to be 1. Any number divided by itself is 1, except 0 because it's not defined. So we're not changing anything. So all we're doing is multiplying this by by itself. So then, then according now to the, if you recall your power rules for power functions here, square root 2 over 2, and square root 2 times 2, this one just equals 2. Well, 2, 1 over 2 times it by 2, 1 over 2. I just want to go over it a bit in depth here so this is 1 over 2 then you would add up these powers 1 over 2 and uh, basically this just equals 2 2 to the 1 or just 2 so uh, then this is 2 here because if you do a link below on more on this explanation why this is so but basically you, you probably already know this any square root number times itself is just going to cancel the square roots right here so we're going to have something like this right here square root 2 uh, yeah, that's because you add them here but then divided by 2 here so we've it, although this looks a bit more complex because there's a, a square root 2 and a 2 here instead of just a 1 but the, but it's at the it's at the top here the square root 2 and so we're dividing by a rational number right here and now uh, when I when I said above uh, when I said oh what do you think the uh, the value is of 1 divided by square root 2 well it's just a bit hard to uh, just divide it by ra irrational number but now we could divide by rational number we know that this is one roughly 1. 1, 4, etc. So then divide, all we do is divide by 2. So it's going to be at least roughly 0.7 here. This is like uh, 1.4 divided by 2. Yeah, so it's roughly 0.7 here. You could, it's like 0 0.707, etc. But uh, all, all that matters, at least we have the ballpark here. So it's roughly 0.7 here. So th that's the idea, basically, just to simplify these uh, functions like these. Now, another method to get rid of it is is basically multiplying the top and bottom by the conjugate. What I mean by this, uh, like I stated in my earlier video, I did a video on difference of squares, and I showed with the difference of squares, basically, if you had a number 1 minus, I mean, just a function like 1 minus b times it by 1 plus b, these are conjugates of each other. Yeah, and these are called conjugates just because the only difference here is this 1 minus b, this is 1 plus b, and also then when you multiply it out, you're just going to get a difference of squares, and, or in this case, a squared minus b squared, so all you're doing is subtracting squares or finding difference between it here. And uh, this is pretty straightforward, you can just use the FOIL method if you just multiply the, the, this by both, and then this one by both here, you're just going to get now, yeah, you'll, you'll just get a squared minus b, a, I'm, I'm just going through this but uh, you could just apply the form I think it's the video link below on that and also what difference of squares so you just get something like this and then this center one cancel equals zero so you're just left with this one right here so now we're going to use this idea because as you can see this if we just multiply something if it had a rational uh, number underneath by this conjugate we could basically square um, square this so, so I'll, I'll illustrate this by an example so now let's say we have this function right here 1 divided by 3 minus square root 2 here so as you can see the bottom is irrational but then as you can see this is just 3 minus square root 2 then the conjugate if we multiply top and bottom just gonna be 3 plus square root 2 here so 3 plus square root 2 so now this is just a difference of squares now we could just uh, write this formula down or you could 
multiply it by foil method etc on the bottom uh, but then you could just uh, trust the formula above so now we're gonna get th the top is gonna be 3 plus square root 2 and the bottom is gonna be well 3 squared and then this is gonna be now minus square root 2 squared and then this simplifies now now that this is, you see the square root cancels so we're, we got rid of the irrational numbers so this is gonna be 9 minus 2 and this, this further simplifies to 3 plus square 2 divided by 7 right here. There's our answer. Well, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully you learned from this, uh, this example here and also these two different methods of getting rid of the irrational denominator to make it rational. It's, you're going to see it a lot in uh, calculus exams, etc. When you want to simplify equations or solving for stuff or even doing limits and other stuff in calculus. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you can download these notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.